we're going to talk about gravitational gravitational potential energy and uh okay let's say we have the earth right here this is our earth right there okay and now let's say uh we have a radius okay let's put first the center right here we have the center of the earth and let's draw a vector that goes this way right there and we call this vector r1 vector and uh, let's draw another vector okay let's make a line here for a reference point and let's draw another vector that comes this way right there okay and let's call this guy r2 vector 2 and uh, so now we have here we have this distance right here or this displacement right there and uh, this one here is going to be r2 minus r1 and we're going to call it delta r and it's a vector two and now we're going to place a little particle let's put a little particle here particle of mass m so it's going to be mass m and you're going to take it all the way to over here the particle is going to go all the way over here so it's going to be displaced uh let's find what we call the work done by gravity so uh what do we have here we have the mass of the earth which is this one right here the mass of the earth it's called concentrated here it's concentrated at the center we have the mass of little particle the green particle and uh, we have the constant of gravitation g the big g so the work done by gravity is going to be the integration of the force of gravity dot product this is a vector delta r and this is the definition of work done by any force so uh well let's do a body diagram to see how this looks like because uh if you're going to take the particle a uh, little m let's call it from point a to point b let's say this is point a and this is point b and if you're going to take the little particle from point a to point b uh, uh you're going to do some work and uh we're going to do a body diagram right here to see how this looks like so we have that uh This would be delta R vector. And uh, we have that the force of gravity is gonna be this way. And as you can see, you have here 180 degrees between the two vectors, because these two guys are vectors right here. So uh, the work done by gravity is gonna be the integration of uh, f uh, times delta r times the cosine of theta because uh and that's going to be from r1 to r2 because the uh the theta is the angle between uh, these two vectors remember that the definition of uh, a, a dot product because this is a dot product a dot product uh the definition of a dot product uh a b is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between these two guys that's what we're doing here um and with the force of gravity remember that it's going to be the constant of gravitation mass of the earth times mass of the little particle over r to the square so we're going to plug it in here because this is the force of gravity 
So the work done by gravity is going to be the work done by gravity is going to be the integration from R1 to R2 of G uh, mass of the earth, mass of the little particle over R to the square dr. And the cosine, this is going to be the cosine of 180 degrees, which is going to be minus one. So uh, this is going to be a minus one right here. And uh, you're going to pull it over here. So it's going to turn out over here, here. And uh, that's uh, where you get your negative sign. So uh, let's, uh, let's, pull out, uh, let's pull out all the uh, constants out of the integration. So we'll do it over here. So the work of gravitation, the, the, the work done by the uh, gravitational force is gonna be minus the constant of gravity, the mass of the earth times the mass of the little particle. And then it's gonna be the integration from R1 to R2 of uh, R minus two, R to the minus two dr. So um, the work done by gravity is going to be minus the constant of gravitational mass of the earth times mass of the little particle. And uh, it's going to be, uh, let me make it, uh, let me do it over here. I don't like it here. Everything is so clutter. So uh, it's going to be the work done by gravity is going to be minus G mass of the earth, mass of the little particle, and it's gonna be R minus two plus one, minus two plus one from R1 to R2. Okay, so that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be, let me do another board here. Okay, that's gonna be uh, work done of gravity. It's going to be minus G mass of the earth, mass of the little particle. It's going to be R to the minus two plus one, minus two plus one from R1 to R2. So this is going to be, well, this is going to, minus two plus one is going to give you a minus one. And this is going to go away with this one over here. So it's going to be G mass of the earth mass of the little particle over one over R from R1 to R2. So the work done by gravity is gonna be G, mass of the earth, mass of the little particle. And it's gonna be one over R2 minus one over R1. And you got your formula right there. But, uh, the work done by uh, any force is uh, energy one minus energy two. And we got to get to this expression uh, because uh, the work uh, uh, is equal to minus delta U, which is minus U2 minus U1. And this is going to be the same thing as this. This is going to be the same thing as this because uh, this is going to be u1 minus u2, and we get back our equation. This one right here, we get it back. So this is this is equivalent. Uh, this one and this one are equivalent. <clears throat> so <clears throat> if we define the potential, the u as the um, gravitational. gravitational potential energy uh, if we define u as the gravitational potential energy uh, we have to define it as minus constant of gravitation mass of the earth mass of the little particle over r and uh, if we plug this back in here we get back our definition because it would be the work done by gravity is going to be equal to, so if we plug this in negative, this is going to be negative, this is going to be positive. So it's going to be G 
mass of the earth, mass of the little guy over R1 minus G, mass of the earth, mass of the little particle over R2. And uh, we get back R right here. This would be the, uh, the work done by gravity. And uh, if we plug this in here, we get our definition as this way right here. So the gravitational potential energy is gonna be by definition, this one right here. And what does that mean? Well, that means this. That means that uh, if we do a graph here and uh, let's put the earth over here, right there, we have a radius. This is the radius of the earth. And uh, that means that uh, all the potential energy, gravitational potential energy is gonna be negative. So it's gonna start to count over here, right here. And this is gonna be minus G, mass of the earth, mass of the little particle over R right here. This would be R and this would be the potential energy. So we're gonna graph uh, R against the potential energy. So as you can see at this point right here is where it starts to count. So you go like this. And uh, as you can see the uh, graph of the potential energy of gravitational potential energy, gravitational potential energy is minus G, mass of the earth, mass of the little particle over R. And let's remember that the work done is equal to the potential energy. So we can do that. And that would be the graph of the uh, graph. This is the graph of uh, gravitational potential energy. And we'll do a bunch of problems using this, uh, this formula. Thank you. Next time, I'll see you next time.